part. You niggas get sent to the stove. I run up the paper, can't let it get low. We don't buy them no haze and I'm still will get low. We still hop out them cars and we make them get low. White bitch on my. This low and you on the set. Set, set, set. You go through your DMV like that, yeah. 2020 was a blast for you. That really kicked you off. Um, so. The next year, you kind of go into this Detroit phase. Yeah, for the starting out. So the Detroit phase, like, it, all right. So here's how I went like this. I got a shout out to my man since '99. Like he really helped change my life. Like it basically was like him being like you know the butterfly. I felt like you know he was the butterfly. Like so it started with him. Uh, his manager, well not even his manager, but, like his good friend, Bass Nas, been hip to me. Like you know we was been cool. Fucking bro, heavy. Yeah, solid nigga. Uh, he had hit me. Saying, you know, he needed a video. Now, he, he had posted on Twitter he needed a video. Already had his number, I took his picture before. And so I hit him saying, I'm trying to shoot for 699. You know, it was a good opportunity. And he had lined it up. I pulled up, we had shot. And then the video we had shot was real icy. He had dropped it. But then I, I'm a marketer. Like, I know how to do this marketing shit and all the social media shit. So as soon as he dropped the video, I'm going through his comments, looking through his likes, looking through everybody who's on that joint with a blue check or over 100,000 followers. And I'm DMing all of them as soon as they see the video. I'm trying to shoot for you. And then I end up DMing a dude named Baby Tron, who's from, uh, he's from, uh, what's, what's the city called? It's a plant city. It's how, how you pronounce it? I, my bad if I mispronounced it. But I know they, they sound like Gypsy. They say, they say out there. But uh, he, he's basically considered a Detroit rapper overall. Right. And so I DMed him and he had DMed me right back saying, let's, let's do it. Let's shoot. And then so I ended up going to Atlanta later that month in January. And he was out there too. I was going to go to Atlanta for some other shit. It wasn't going out there directly for him, but he was, he's having to be out there. So I ended up shooting a video for him and he was just fucking with it so heavy. And then I, I took the liberty on myself to go to Detroit and just put my feet in the ground, like really just get out there and just start working with other Detroit artists. My first show I took in February. And we never really happened. Only shot a video for him and his friend. Uh, not, not even his friend, his, his uh, what I'm looking for basically like his, his co partner, like uh, his name TRD, they're, they're part of a rap group called the uh, Shitty Boys. Yeah, and I know about the Shitty Boys. Mm -hmm. so I shot a video for TRD and Baby Tron. I shot a video for both of them off their mixtape. Uh, freaking name of the song, I think it was Sizzle, Sizzle Talk was the name of the song. Yeah, yeah. but the hip hop lab, if yeah, uh huh, yeah, that's, I, that's the manager, yeah. uh huh, yeah, I know. So, I, 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 Lando. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Lando, good nigga too, for sure. Yeah. So, I shot for I shot for them, and that was basically all I did for that trip, like. Sean's a busy nigga, so I didn't get to really shoot from that much that first trip. But then that really put me a little bit more into like the Detroit scene a little bit. I ain't really do nothing. But then to keep continuing with the Detroit, I ain't really do nothing with them until like this uh, uh like May, like late May, early June of this year. Uh hit Tron again, send back come back out Detroit. Hit TRD, send back to come out Detroit. And I was DMing people from like Flint. I was DM YNJ, YNJ never hit me back. Why uh dude named Y Star Grammys? I think the preacher is his cousin. That's why that's YNJ's cousin. They're from the same hood uh Beecher, Beecher, Michigan. Yeah. And so I DM Grams and Grams me back saying, You hard, we could shoot. He sent me some songs. And I pull up straight to uh Michigan like June first. Say I'm trying say I'm ready to shoot and then I see Tron like the very first day I pull up to the hip hop lab, I walk right in the door. And it's like 10 rappers in there. And then I'm like, what's going on? And then they talking about, yeah, we, we all made a song. Like, are y'all yeah, basically like, what y'all just do? Like, you know, Tron and this song? Like, nah, we all made one song. Like, 10 rappers in one song. So they was like, and then Orlando was like, nah, I need you to shoot this right now. So I pulled up the camera. And then I'm hearing a whole cypher with 10 niggas on it. Like, I ain't never seen no shit like this. So it was just, uh, I think it's called like Crazy Talk. Yeah, it's like. Uh, Bankroll, Reese, Baby Tron, TRD, Stan, Will, uh, damn, I'm forgetting everybody's name. But it was like, it was like this 10 different niggas. All, all, everybody had their own little motion. Some of them was a uh, hip hop lab artist. It was just a whole bunch of just, you know, a lot of niggas who could rap on one song. And then I, I finished the video in like 20 hours. Not even 20 hours, less than that. Cause we, I was there like 8 o'clock. I got there like 8, 9 o'clock. And then, we had dropped the video the next day by like 3 p.m. So, and I, it was crazy effects. So if you watch the video, the video got crazy effects. So I was like, cause I was really trying, cause I knew my marketing strategy for Detroit was to make sure I drop whatever I shoot the next day. So the niggas is seeing what I'm doing while I'm out here. Right. So I did that. 
and niggas was, was seeing it. Hip hop, the hip hop lab posted it, and then shit was just going in motion. I shot some shit for Tron, shot uh, some shit for TRD. Now it was some shit with Tron and TRD on it. Shot some shit for Stan Will, and then shot some shit for some hip hop lab artists. And then I pulled up on Grams and Beecher. That was like an hour drive. And we had shot some shit with him and Crispy Life Kid, who's one of the Ice War Vessels artists, he's part of IUR. And then we had shot a video in front of a checkers. Like the checkers and Beecher, like they're real popular. Like, you know, there's not as many rappers. Like, there's a lot of rappers out here, but like out there, it's kind of similar. But it's, but it's like the clout they have out there, having like 30,000, 40,000 followers, is way more important than it is out here. So, like, they treat them niggas like they were super, super stars. I'm not saying they aren't, but they was like, they let them come to checkers, take over the whole checkers at three o'clock in the morning. We shot a whole video inside the checkers. And it went cra- dope. Yeah, it went crazy as shit. That's dope. So right after that, uh, I ain't finished that video probably for like three or four days. So I was just shooting so much at that point. Niggas finally catching on to the wave and shit. So then right after that, uh, I had, uh, I met GT. Matter of fact, the, the same day we shot Crazy Talk, I met GT, uh, in the studio part of Wavy Gang. And, I was like, I'm let me shoot for you, cause I knew who he was as soon as I seen him. I was like, let me shoot for you. And he had asked Baby Tron, is he icy? You like, and Baby Tron was gonna give him a look like, done it, he shooting my shit. Of course he icy. So then I appreciate Baby Tron that code sign was that helped me out with that one. And GT was like, alright, cool, gave me his number, locked it in. Like, my fact, I didn't even lock his number in. I, I, t- I texted her, I texted her, called him. But I remember I, I knew I had his number for a fact. I ain't followed him on Instagram yet, nothing. But I kept texting him. Cause I was trying to shoot so much, like I know I had to get a GT shoot before I left, right. and he wasn't texting back. I hit him on the gram saying, "Bro, this is uh you know house party from the hip hop lab the other day. I'm trying to shoot, I'm trying to shoot," and he finally hit me back saying, and he said, "I appreciate you for, for you know remind me and shit." So then I pull up on GT the uh, I think it was like the Friday or the Saturday, it was like the fifth or something, and then he was like, you know, I really appreciate you for you know making sure you shot we shot this video and shit, and I was like, yeah, of course, you know, I'm trying to support you, you know, you support me, I support you, like you know, we in this together. And then, like, he, like, you know, after I said that, like, he said, you know, I really fuck with you for saying that, you know, a lot of people don't have that mentality, you know, to go out and support somebody else like that. I'm like, nah, that's, you know, that's the type of person I am. I want to see everybody win. For sure.